Oh, I like that little tune. That got me in the mood. Um, it's a Friday, so um, we want to take the pressure off. And I think with our hectic lifestyles that we tend to lead at the moment, indulgence might be something as simple as just sitting back, relaxing, and having an evening of pure solitude. I know right now there are moms going, oh, oh, please, just one night. The last thing I think moms feel like when they get home on a Friday evening especially is spending hours in the kitchen while we welcome back our favorite mom and chef and all-round wonderful human being, Chef Chumi Chumi Chumi, to show us how to make a simple, quick, easy, and yes, delicious meal. So simple that you'll be enjoying the weekend with the fam in no time. Ah, what's on the menu, Chef Chumi? I'm smelling something Jennifer delicious. Jennifer Hudson said it. She said, one night only. Mm. Oh. So. Okay, let's give, let's let's give our moms night that night. The one night. Let's look. give our moms Perfect. this night. Okay. Let's start it off with you firstly whisking some, some eggs for me there okay. and then passing those over so I can start frying them. Uh, so whisk we're making a tasty egg fried rice. Did you give me the smallest bowl on the planet on purpose or is that just... I wanted to taste your capabilities <laughs> but then I realized this is not the show for that so it's fine. I love just it. Just whisk them up, pass cool. them over to me and then I what I will do is I'm going to start the base of our egg fried rice. Now a lot of uh, times when people make egg fried rice what they want to do is fry the eggs on the side, take them out, put them back in the pot. Okay for sure. But I'm saying let's, let's, uh, let's take it up a notch and maybe do it how they normally do it. I just don't have a wok and I don't have the theatrics for it. Okay. But hopefully it turns out as great uh, I'll, I'll as... imagine it. I'll imagine it. So you're a Mom and you're a chef, okay? Yeah. So there is an ex expectation, obviously, <laughs> that you're going to be cooking a lot. Um, yeah, we explore parenthood, you and I, a lot on this show. We do. What does motherhood mean to you in this space? Like, why is cooking the right thing for your little man so important? Um, just pass me your eggs and then I'll be able How to do it as efficiently as I can. Uh, I'm just giving that, needs that last with, how's that? I think for me, more than anything, it just means being able to watch carefully what I give to my child. Yeah, because a lot know of what's times, in it. Yes, yeah. <laughs> a lot of the times sure. we as parents are there thinking, I want to make sure my child eats really well, but then we don't understand the labor that it comes with because you need to also make sure that the food is good. Not only with just the, the preparation, but you also need to make sure that it keeps well, it keeps the child nutritious, keeps them, you know, and they, alive they're actually going to eat it. Yeah, <laughs> so it needs to, to taste eat. delicious. It has to be fun. <laughs> so recipes like this are perfect for that, you know, like being able to incorporate stuff like your eggs in there, your, um, veggies and stuff and then using the simply chicken product for me is perfect because of the fact that it uses real chicken you don't have to worry about no, and nothing absolutely you know? nothing else no exactly. added msg no pork none nothing. of that stress all right, um, and the other thing is, even though I'm oh, going to be making this in a pan, yeah. most people would think, oh my gosh, can I use other different types of ways of doing it? Definitely. Mm -hmm. You could even try air frying, because we're about to put those babies into the oven right now. Um, and instead, if you want to, you can also do them in the oven. I found air a little surprise. A little <gasps> surprise. Simply chicken sticky barbecue sauce. Oh my goodness. That's why I've got this hot water over here. You can oh, also just like start this. You can start mixing up that sauce for the us. Sauce. I feel like I just won past the parcel <laughs> at a party. Go. All right, and then I'm Okay, so this is going in the warm water. It's going in the water, and as you go in, you can also whisk away, sir. Thank you. That way we make sure that it doesn't have any of those lumps in there. And then the egg fried rice is starting. I don't know if you can hear that. Yeah. Sizzle. I've added our, um, our chicken, rather. I've added our rice and I've put the eggs to the side so they don't burn. Okay. But I'm mixing up the rest of the ingredients. And the rice you've cooked, eh? The rice is pre-cooked, yes. You want to make sure that it's cooked um, as al dente as possible. Because if you're going to be pre -co I mean, cooking, cooking it again it on the again, pan, you don't sure. want to overcook it. Um, so. Yeah, it needs to have a bit of body. You don't just want a mush. Correct. Yeah, you want some texture. Um, any particular rice, does it really matter? It doesn't really matter for me. I also still like to use basmati rice for, type of mm. dish, for these kind of dishes because it also has its own kind of flavor and that aroma in it and it works so well with the ingredients we're going to put in here. I've got some peas, I've got some carrots, I'm going in with a touch of sesame oil. Try Ooh. not to um, go too much with the sesame oil because it can just overtake Yeah, it's dish. a very strong flavor but it's a lovely, especially strong. in this kind of Asian cooking, it just... It adds a beautiful note, I think, for me. It's, yeah. it's, it's a finishing touch. Okay, our, our beautiful barbecue, sticky barbecue sauce is looking magical. Here we go. That looks well done, sir. Now, what Thank we you. do is we bake our um, Simply Chicken Bites in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes at 220 degrees. Okay. And like you said, if you want to, you can also pop them into your air fryer. Just check the cooking instructions there. And then once you're done, you're going to top our dish here that we've made with our Simply Chicken Bites. 
Okay. And if you want to, you can even add some of that sauce in here and give it that additional, you know. Oh, yeah, for sure, I would do that. Shine. Yeah, yeah no, do it. Do, right do it, girl. Why not? It We've got the sauce, so do it. And also, you don't want to add too much because we don't want it to stew. You don't want it to uh, stew. We want it to still fry. And I mean, look at that beautiful glistening shine. Oh my shine. goodness! I mean, that right I think, there. I think you've you've hit on something really special with that that sauce permeating through everything. I love that you've got the texture, an added extra textural I mean, element. Oh, beautiful. Why not? Sesame Bay. I love that. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Well, you can keep your weekend meals tasty and, yes, simple with Simply Chicken. To get your hands on this delicious recipe, visit expressoshow.com. And for more quick and easy recipes, I really do suggest that you follow them online. Go at Simply Chicken ZA on Instagram for daily culinary inspiration. Simply Chicken also giving one lucky viewer the chance to win an instant Vortex air fryer every week over the next few weeks, just like Winley did last week. Simply reply to the competition post on the Expresso Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram page and share your hashtag RealMom Festive Kitchen Hacks. Maybe give us a hack we haven't had on the show yet. Not only do you stand the chance of winning this amazing air fryer, but also being uh, uh, given the opportunity to tell your story on Expresso Live and then automatically be entered into that grand prize draw for 10,000 rand. It could be yours. That's a lot of chicken. Don't forget to include hashtag real mom in your answer. And that competition closes at midday today. But you can find all the terms and conditions on expressoshow.com. This is quick, it's simple, it's easy. If you don't believe me, watch this.